Welcome back, everyone, to the end of a new beginning mod. I'm your host, Tam Mokolova. And right now, we actually went back in time to redo this, uh, you know, this little event decision, because apparently, in the last video, I screwed it up. So, candidate for Spanish Throne, one of our nobles has qualified for the Spanish Throne recently. We have the opportunity to lay claim to it and expand our influence now. Sounds like a good opportunity. We've got to give it a few more times, a few more days, for the thing to continue firing. And, uh, we've got some more comms to go through. But at the same time, we gotta go back and basically oh, just build another military factory in Brandenburg. Cool. So I'm building some more civvies, and we gotta build to build. Uh, we gotta build some roads. So Ned, once again, Nido Schlesin, Schlesin, as well as Brandenburg and Berlin. Brandenburg, Berlin. Cool. The French demand restraint. The the French have demand that we withdraw Leopold's claim to the throne. So apparently, I last time I, in the last video I chose this one refuses, which makes sense to me. But apparently, this is historical. Um, I should have probably read a little bit more closely. It says E O A N B. T T options is historical, so I guess we accept. Um, uh, and as you can see, I've already decided to put a lot of my infantry down here. Uh, I've already put my horses down here, and actually they're not looking great, just because we're out of a lot of equipment. We still have a lot of guns and uniform equipment. France dem demands no further claims. After Lepo's show of weakness, the French appear to think that they can push us further and have demanded that we cease laying claim to the foreign thrones entirely. This is an insult to our political position on the world stage. We refuse a ridiculous quest to make inside conflict or leave the affair to Bismarck in which we need the Ems dis dispatch. Uh, I forget what Ems is. It's in Prussia. It's, it's like a resort area, I think. So now we're going to make sure we do this correctly. The Ems dispatch. Bismarck has highlighted the aggressive interventionist policies of France and how they threaten us with war over mere inheritance dispute. There's been a roaring sentiment of war enthusiasm against the French on the rise. Recently in response, condemn their aggressive tone. Good, as we should. Hopefully we have enough equipment. Oh! Okay, after a disagreement about the inheritance of the Spanish throne, which served to worsen the already strong tensions between the French Empire and the NGC, war is broken up between the two nations. The world is shocked as it waits to see how this war may affect the future of Central Europe. The war will have saved the fate of Germany. Now we are in a defensive line, so the way it should be. And I'm going to go ahead and just call these guys up, and you guys are just going to go ahead and just hopefully begin just assaulting their booties. I'm going to ruin supply here because we need to move very quickly through this. Move, 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 move. Go, 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 go. Uh, actually, send half you guys here about as well. I know it's over a river, but it doesn't really matter. I need you to break over here and get or surround to Verdun. I'll help them out here because supply is going to be really bad, so we've got to move while we have the advantage. Half you guys just go straight there. Go, 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 for the love of God. Golden Coast and Gabon. Yeah, actually, with the, all these horse... I made, actually, all the horse divisions cursors. Just because I made the cursors pretty good. Um, other than that... Yeah, not too much else has really happened off screen since I went back. So, German is mobilizing. So, if you'd like to read about this again, please go right ahead. But, oh well. And what else do we have here? 66 MSP. We have less manpower than I think before, but that's just be probably because I try to shape up a few things. And act Gewehr... Gewehr Cool. Game decisions. Actually, if you want to help out, like, send half you guys here so we can cut all these guys off, which would be great. Get those infantry in there if you can. Oh, if not. Oh, boy. Tahiti, watch out, Tahiti. Uh, honestly, I think my cavalry is kind of expendable to a degree, so. If we can cut all these guys off, that'd be tremendous. Oh, we got over to Mets. Let's see. We've taken 9,000 losses versus 47,000. Not too bad. For us, this consortium. Um, I did that one last time. Obviously, we're th we still we still have everything done like last time. So, I feel like we're about the. F oh, I just might, might as well read it. We all finished the Grand Railway line expanding infrastructure in the east of our country. Cool. And then isn't that that? Yeah, we just need more political power for this. That's good. Cool. Awesome. We cut them off. We have cut them off. Come on, infantry, get in there. Some of them actually are are already in here. Uh, yeah. I guess we built up roads, but that's for later, I suppose. Yeah, I don't want to lose too many divisions, because that's really not good for us. Alright, we've broken through. They have up to 61 divisions. We have 161. Come on, infantry division. See if you can get in there. I don't want to kill off all my horses. That's why. <laughs> hey, we ran another division. Nice. 85,000 versus 23,000 is not bad. Uh, where are our allies' divisions down here? Do they have forts down here? I know it's, oh, it's hills, not even mountains. It's just hills. Uh, help out down here. Oh, look at that. Look how weak they're getting. Oh, it's so nice. That just threw another division in there, too. There you go. Very good. 
Yeah, this is not giving up at all. Uh, there must be... Is, is this place a fort? No, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so now more infantry slowly pouring into the lines. Okay, that's good. So we've lost, what, 50,000? 28,000 versus 118,000? They have up to 50 divisions max. 120,000 men have been lost so far. 128,000? Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Soft attack is so weird in this mod. Or this is the unit organization. They have up to 56 divisions. 136,000 have died. Ah, oh, I love it. Friends, please do this again. Oh, look at that. Now they're finally getting broken. And once we get Paris, come on, we gotta get Paris, guys. Well, we'll get there eventually. Portugal asked for equipment. Uh, sure. Why not? 155,000. If we go to 50,000 versus 160,000, that'd be pretty darn good for us. Foreign trade deal, deal turned down. Oh, Colombia, why do you break my heart? Why? Anything else we need to know here? Uh, we could probably close that one. Yeah, I don't think the French are able to do too much. Provisional government? Yeah, I bet they do have a provisional government. They still have enough of that. Equipment-wise, like, what are they looking at? Honestly, it's not that bad. They probably have more than us, but... Not bad. 200,000 Frenchmen had laid dead because Napoleon went crazy. Ah, oh, good, we got him. We've got him. Keep going, guys. You're doing a tremendous job. Wow, we have... Yeah, I hope we get non after this. Because, holy crap, we are going crazy with this. Oops. Well... I'm going to assume a quarter million will die here, so. There we go. Oh, wrong one. I was supposed to do Paris. Oh, well. Come on, quarter million, quarter million. We've taken 50,000 losses. It's almost a 5 to 1 ratio. Oh, we, we completed this from Belgium. Oh, almost almost that much. Almost that much. Do we get to take all this territory? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that would be awesome if we could. Whoa. Oh, maybe not. For now, just come back home and go back to the border with Austro-Hungarians, maybe? That'd be kind of nice. I put these guys over here just in case, like this, if the Russians or even Austro-Hungarians start decide to attack. Oh, I forgot about the Navy, too. Um, we have enough naval XP that we're just going to hang out, so. Cool. War with a rival is no longer pertinent. So, uh, our, marchy mar our army marches to Paris. Today, I stipulated in the preliminary armistice against... Uh, Armistice agreement. Russian troops marched through the streets of the French capital to the amazement and disappointment of the Parisians, feeling the event as a real insult and reinforcing their feeling of to have been betrayed by the leaders. A great day for the Empire? Who's taking a nap? That's a great day. Please, can I take all this territory? I would love to have all this territory. Please, 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 please. And look at that. our stockpile is so bad now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, we'll work on that as time goes on, though. That's okay. Cool. I got a cup of coffee here. And at the time of this recording, I there's a day uh, break between this episode and the last one, so I'm gonna, as you can tell, I made this video a little bit longer. So, oh, well, victory is ours. We have won the war against France. This will greatly aid us in manifesting ourselves as a great European power and give us international recognition on the world stage. Additionally, our staff thanks thinks we finally seem ready to initiate German unification. Fodas Vatalam. We just straight up annex him. Wow. Entrez de Paris. We received a message from the newly formed French government. We finally made them bend the knee. Conferred to the might of the German armies. They have now asked us to discuss peace in the Ferre's castle near Paris. This discussion with the French foreign minister will let us push our demands. We have, also, we have for decades longed for the time we could retake the lands of Alsace-Lorraine, German lands which we were, are legitimate to claim. On top of that, we could use the opportunity to strengthen our German unity. Beating the French Empire is a gift on its own, but this is the closest we expect to have from a capitulation. We have our demands, and they'll have to accept it. The war needs to cease. We've already won it after all. No, I want more. I want more. But hey, yeah, look at that. It's June 28th, 1870, so we won within like a month or two, so. So, yep, yeah, we formed Germany slightly ahead of time. Slightly. It's not very much, but hey, it is what it is. Nice. This one would be nice to get done. Get more infrastructure construction speed, more consumer goods, more humanities research time. I do want to say, oh, demobilizing good. Ooh. Um, there's been a few comments uh, regarding me, and, pe and people want me to take more technologies that increase our monthly population. So, I mean, I think I've done most of them. Like, this is 1870, so I'll do as many as I can, but I'm not, I really want to do them ahead of time. We have nothing here for special projects. Oh, never mind. The Kiel Canal. Oh, that's kind of nice. Michelson Morley Experiments. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, aviation, obviously, is not that stuff. Electronics, uh, let's see. Biochemistry. So, 1870, 1870. Monthly population, we'll take that one. Industrial fertilizers. There you go. I'll try to keep an eye on it. 
There's no promises, but hey, it is what it is. Let's see, someone also recommends that we keep an eye on the Russian combat width, because apparently Russian divisions are like, according to someone, are like really huge. Now, we made our line infantry like 10 combat width, so we might have made, might need to make our guys like 20 combat width maybe to fight the Russians, just because of how much manpower that they have. So, we'll see. We'll definitely see, just because it's nice to win wars and all, but it's always also very good to just, you know, make sure you do you do well, and you don't get your, bu your uh, booties touched too hard from Russians. Um, I still like this one. So obviously, as we are so behind in time compared to the last episode, oh, uh, uh, where is oh, that's good. We have a lot of roads to build, uh, but we can kind of wait on that for now. We do the French stuff over there once again. She might just do off screen a little bit. Is there any focus here? Oh, prepare German unification. We're gonna make some preparations so we can find out Germany soon. A new Germany, yeah. Oh, well, technically Germany is united, so. Um. Current German centrism. Probably not hoping we can get a few more things done, maybe? Maybe? You guys are just kind of hanging out. Oh, yeah. And you guys. We need some more generals. We're going to need more divisions. Uh, someone also recommends, though, that we take out the Benelux, uh, the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, Luxembourg, which I don't know why is the same color as the Netherlands. I know they're a puppet and such, but still. A uh, personal union partner, but still. So, yeah, and the Swiss have a lot of Germans, so we can take them out. Seriously, do we just keep this? How long does this wait? Do we have to wait until January 1871 for us to make sure that we can actually get this stuff done? Maybe. Maybe. Hopefully not. But we'll see. Just because I don't want to do fade in, fade out. Because as soon as I do fade in, fade out, like, it, this, an event's going to fire. Let's see. So, apparently, historically, from what you guys said, his. Leopold did back down historically from the throne, whether the French were very demanding. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. What the heck? You got rid of my territories that I rightfully got. What the heck? This cup of coffee's not too bad, though. Oh, that's so sad. We worked so hard for that. Can I at least have Nansish? Please? Or Nancy? Like in Kaiserreich? At this point, I'm kind of ready for World War One. We're going to make our army much, much, much bigger, but, you know, that'll come in time. Oh, wow. Look at all those guns we got now. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, we're out of a lot of stuff, but hey, what it is. Whatever. Anything else here? There's really nothing else. We still have three political stability. Prepare for German unification. Oh, metal cartridges. Cool. Oh, did we... Oh, we could have used that. We could have used that. Darn it. 1870, 72. Uh, more breakthrough. More defense might not be bad. More army breakthrough. Uh, let's keep going with the biochemistry stuff if we can. No, probably not. Process engineering. I want to do all the industrial stuff first, so... I don't know. I just like industrial stuff for now. So all this 1870 stuff is pretty much done and kaput. We got more than enough naval doctrine. Or naval XP for anything. Construction speed. Yeah, I like construction speed quite a bit. Max factories in the states not bad. Wrought iron structures are good. And dreams of flight, I guess I'm doing. Whatever. Did I already get that one guy? I don't think I did get Venna. And we want to get rid of this guy eventually, but he's really good for now, so. Consumer goods, consumer goods, consumer goods. Oh, no, we need Venna, yeah. Even more consumer goods. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, how is our conservative party support? Is it going up or down right now? It is going nowhere. <laughs> that's slowly going up, so that's okay. Let's use you. Just so that we can get even more consumer goods factories to build, 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 get these stupid roads done. Uh, so Berlin is done. So what I'm just going to do is this. Berlin, goodbye. See you later. So we can start working on finishing off Brandenburg as well as Niederschlesien. So we need Brandenburg done. Then we'll need Nedish Lassin. And then we'll need all these other ones like we did in the last episode. So, it is what it is. We can still order ships from France and those guys. But at this point, I don't really feel like it. Um, anything else here? I'd like to get more guns and uniforms, but I'm just worried about supply. Oh, what are you guys... Oh, you guys are just doing all that. Dreams of Flight? Nice. Alright, we can do more of this stuff, but let's come over to Process Engineering. And Max Factory, they say Construction Speed. Yes, please. Now, 16 capital ships. We should make some more destroyers. Are we making any destroyers? We should be making some destroyers. I'm mean, technically these guys, so not too bad. There you go. Cool. Yeah, this one takes so long to do. Holy crud. Oh, look at that population now. Almost 50 million. Oh, uh, we're slowly demobilizing. Man, we need to make more babies, as, as you guys did say in the comments. Oh, my goodness. Cool. Uh, let's see. 
Someone did say, hey, the later you form Germany, the weaker you, you basically are. Yep, that's true. That's why we're trying to build up our industry and trying to finish off all this stuff so we can build even more industry as well. Uh, let's see, graphic glitches that, we, that we've had quite a few times already. Graphic glitches occur usually, which usually occur when the ships are doing things. So that's what someone said. Um, but our ship is just kind of standing still. So, But at least for now, that, that seems to be doing okay. Oh, let's go and train to if we need to. Uh... I'll put you guys on the board on all sides terrain. Oh! Anything? No? Go and train if you need it, because you guys definitely need it. That's fine. Let everyone train pretty much. <clears throat> oh, there's a wiki in the top right of the screen here, apparently. There's a ledger. Which I never use, which is actually really interesting. Kind of cool. We're a great power. Position. Oh, the UK's number one, which makes sense. Power projection makes sense, because they have a massive navy. We're above these guys now. Nice little German flag we've got there. Number of factories. Hey, we're, we literally rival these guys, but they have literally... Quite a few less population. Number of divisions, we have way more. Number of ships, they have way more. So, Constitutional monarchy for France so far. We have slightly more population than them, even though it says... Oh, 42 million. What happened to the 50 million? Oh, it's because we had probably France, the French subjects underneath us, too. Why is there a little dark spot here? Hmm. Maybe it's a graphical thing. A graphics thing. Number of divisions, 50. Number of ships, way bigger than us. Uh, let's see, Russia, they have less than half the factories... Triple our population, absolute monarchy, fourth in the world, uh, number of divisions, 85, so half of us, but even then, that is not, they could have really, really good divisions. A presidential republic, huh? <clears throat> oh, look at that! That part of Brazil's eighth power in the world. Go figure. Are we still mobilizing up a lot more? Start to secularize? No, we're kind of good about that. And we only have probably about three weeks left, four weeks left. Hmm. Anything else here? This would hurt. Uh, this gives, does give us more PP, and I do like that. But that would hurt our ability to get more conservative support in the government. That's not bad. Research speed 3%. Ooh, more infrastructure construction speed might not be bad either. I really want more weekly stability, though. That's really nice. Alright, so this one's almost done, too. And how are our supplies going? Um, We have slightly more cannons. Yeah, we definitely need more horses and machine guns. Because for the cursors, I made these guys have these Gatling gun companies, which is why I use them as much as I did, because they give us quite a bit more soft attack. So, and I have engineers, so I made sure that these guys are pretty good. Supplies are pretty high, but the infantry divisions, all they have are cannons. I'd love to throw in engineers and Gatling gun companies. That'd be so nice. It does hurt your organization quite a bit, but hey, whatever. Supply use is pretty bad already. Mm. Not bueno. Minor Duke influence. I think we do that. Why not? We have the PP port for now. And it might give us a few more consumer goods to use, maybe. Maybe. Brandenburg's got the long, Niedrich, Lessing, and then all those others. Cool. Oh, look at that. Looking a little better. In two days. Well, industrial fertilizer is done. It's now December 1870. So then we're done. Oh, minor forms completed. They'll pay for that in time. Whatever. Uh, there's nothing else we can do for biochemistry. Process engineering, yes, yes. Synthetic oil, oh, nope, hold on, that's not done yet. There we go. And so we got that one done, once again. Let's see, there's really, I would love to do colonial ambitions. And someone does recommend that we finish this, the entire book history done first, before we unify Germany, but... Um, well, we have to wait for the things to finish, so... Expand Kungusha, Westphalen, Eisenbahn, expanding the current railway system in Westphalia will support economic growth and allow researchers to move more swiftly in the western provinces. Cool. So we've already read that one before, but whatever. Oh, wait, we can unite the German states. That's cool. We shall unite the German states under one banner, the way Bismarck proposed it, as an authoritarian empire. Let's get way less organization and planning speed. And actually, do we have these as cores yet? We do not. But there's not too much resistance here, so. Southern Germany. Ah, uh, Southern Germany. So. I don't understand. Why is, like, this area, Nord and Calais, not part of the demilitarized area? Just because, I guess that's historical, I guess, but, like, we took that over, too. <laughs> I made sure we took that over, so. And at this point, I'm just kind of waiting to see what'll happen once we hit, what was it, January 5th or 6th, 1871. So, ooh, is Brandenburg done? Yes, Brandenburg is finished. Goodbye, Brandon Brick, for now. See you later. Alright, so we need Niederschlesson. 
And then Ospreusen Pomerelian. Oh crap, that's not good. Ospreusen. Pomerelian. Königsberg in Ostberlin. Königsberg in Ostberlin. Königsberg. Königsberg, where are you? There you are. We're going to keep building this up, though. There we go. Keep building all this stuff up. So once all this stuff down, we're just going to keep chugging ahead straight with civilian factories. Keep going, 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 going. I know we need more PP. Unfortunate, I know, but whatever. Building sabotage, that's not great. Uh, are you still training, or are you just... Is it a supply issue? I think it's probably... They're just still just training. Yeah. Hold the speech. Symbolic, pretty much. That's fine, doesn't really matter. Uh, sure, Egypt, we can go to the World's Fair. Why not? The Cairo World's Fair. Reopen a steel mill. Oh, that's for 50 political power. Yeah, why, that's only 15, why not? Happy 1871, my friends. Hope you're having a great year. Hopefully we can reunite the German states, but we'll see what happens. But that's going to take a while, because we only get 0.81 every day. Not great, but not bad. And this one's 30 days out. Let's see. The next one will be done. We'll be drilling a rig. 1871. I don't think there's a lot of tech. So we're done with this. Mechanical engineering would be next. Plane stuff. Artillery stuff. I have enough army XP for this. Oh, maybe some more soft attack, hard attack. Uh, can we actually do this one next? Machine era stuff would be nice. Division organization plus 2%. Uh, that'd be really nice if we could do that. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. All right. Aviation would be nice. A little bit ahead of time. Way too ahead of time. These are all just way too ahead of time. And quinine? Huh. Most supply consumption. I don't like that, but whatever. Can't do stuff down there yet. Um, I want to do all the mechanical stuff, but... Hmm. Cap and growth so we can get more stuff output. Raw iron structures. And then cap or max factories and uh, get get output. We need more output. Civilian industry state level nine, nice, good. And military industry, nice. Twenty one days left for twenty days left for stainless steel, and we're still just waiting for that. Cool. And that's thirteen more days. So yeah, that's gonna be done next. So then we'll just do the Veshoffs of Volmacht once more, which would be good for us. Which really helps us out. So, a powerful economy fuels our universities. And this increases our scientific capabilities, which is still pretty good. As we're trying to, you know, get back up to the... Where we left off in the last video, so... I'm a little surprised that there's not too much else concerning, like, the French. Because didn't they have the Paris Commune right after they lost the war? I'm pretty sure they did. And that, no one really... And some people didn't like that. Not everyone, but some people did like it. Oh, God, 640 days. If that's the case, I'm probably just going to do a lot of this off screen then until we get somewhere we need to be. Alright, everyone, so we have 253 political power, so we shall finally unite the German states and lose some division, organization, and planning speed. But hey, that's alright. And German unification. The great questions of the day will not be settled by the means of speeches and majority decisions, but by bl iron and blood. Other flags of Germany. <clears throat> A long and great struggle to unite the German states and secure a place as a considerable power in Europe has finally resulted in victory. We have secured the emergence of a new unitary German state, but now that we do have it, there's one question to be raised. What flag shall our nation unite under? It would be best if we attend to this matter immediately. The German Empire proclaimed, proud imperial flag as was proposed. Cool. Combine the flags of the Confederation and the Prussian Eagle into one mighty banner. I kind of like that. That's not bad. I like, I like that uh, little flag there. The old black eagle honoring us as successors to Rome, the Holy Roman Empire. The national flag of Germany standing for liberty and unity. Liberty and un Liberty? No, no, we're, we're Imperials here. <clears throat> nice. After a long struggle, dating back from when an early sense of German unity was established with the means of the HRE, the country is finally united as one from all its minor states. The former Prussian monarch and the now German emperor, Wilhelm I, was crowned after a resounding victory in the battle against France. This will no doubt have massive effects on European politics, as existing powers have to welcome a new player to the world stage. The struggle for unification is over for now. Well, that is so beautiful. Uh, I've got more manpower, too. That is so good. So good. And do we have any resistance here? It's going down. 0.5. Hopefully it drops to zero soon. 0.4. All right. Compliance is... Oh, do we not have these scores? Oh, God dang it. We don't have these scores yet. That's an occupied state. Gosh darn it. I, I, I hope. I was hoping that we could do something. Oh, German state administration. Oh, we didn't, okay. We'll receive cores on the southern German states in Alsace. Additionally, Alsace will be named Alsace. Thank you. And the German miners will be losing cores on these states, which is good. Oh, attempted by Hel Heligoland. 
I, need, I really need to play Vicky to uh, Prussia someday. But after we won the war against Denmark, we began the construction of a monument of victory in Berlin. Now that we've added two more victories to our name and to the monument, we are ready to inaugurate it after a few final modifications. More stability, legislative power. When selected, we get more stability. Uh, Siegesaul. I, I need to come to Germany sometime. How uh, Karl von Hagendorf. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Generals from the south? Yes, I'd love to do that, but we need more PP. And then first, I say hey. And whenever I see, you know, we're talking about Germans, and the first three letters are H E Y or hey, I'm thinking of Hadrish already. I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> Hadrish? Is that you? Okay, so we finished Brandenburg, which is good. Payment for equipment. Uh, so Brandenburg, you're done for now, son. You're done. Oh, Ostberlin, Königsberg, Berlin, and Westfalen. Königsberg, Ostberlin, Pomerelin, Ostpreußen. Now, that doesn't really matter. Get the Westfalen one done. So we got these up to here, too. So we're making more factories over here, too, so that's not too bad. Um, other than that, yeah, we need more PP. We can do this stuff, but we're going to wait. I want to do the German state administration. I want cores so we can build up our industry even faster as much as possible because we only get 0.3 a day. Good lord, that is so bad. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, as someone said, we should do all our focus before we do a new Germany, which we still need to do this one down here, which means we go one, two, three, four. Uh, maybe we won't do all the focuses since technically we've already gone down the French focuses here and it's okay. Oh, we hurt France, but it doesn't give, give us anything. Oh. UCT.2.A, okay. Um, sorry, my cat's knocking things down in the background. And I would like to do Prussian Colonial Ambitions, which means we have to go down here anyways. So hopefully we'll have enough industry to actually build things up. So we're not going to be exactly where we should probably be in the future, but hey, it is what it is. So we'll do our best. Hopefully as long as our armies can hold and defeat a lot of other people, that's what matters the most. Sorry, and... One of my cats is near my legs right now, so. Come on. Come on. All right. Ah, machine tools. Very cool. Let's see. So we got all that stuff done. Process engineering is pretty much all done for now, because I'm not going to do anything ahead of time, really. Or try not to. That's This is all stuff that's done. So all four of these, for the most part, are almost all done. Even the one that says 1870, early power stations. Can't do it yet. Uh, but we can do this one over here. So now we've done all four of these up here. So we can't do any more. This is good. Very, very nice. And so we've done this. So we need to do this stuff too. Cool. We're not going to do any of this stuff yet. So I guess establish Marine Ministerium. Establish a proper administration to manage the expansion of our naval forces more comprehensively. More naval XP that we actually literally don't need. Unlock more decisions to reform our naval administration. Hopefully this means we can just build stuff to help us out, so... Swan, Edison, Incandescent, light bulb. That'd be kind of nice app. So all four of these are done. Oh, factory industry. Nice, nice, nice. So for aviation, uh, socioeconomics and humanities. So this is all ahead of time too, so we literally can't do anything else here. We've already discovered what socialism is, but there's nothing else we can do here. For aviation, we can do stuff, but I want to use up some of that naval XP that we have currently, so... It's only 50 days, and we're going to get 50 naval XP anyway, so we might as well do it, so... It is what it is. Anything else? Not really, not too much, no. We're just going to be building more stuff up, and... Yeah. Not bad. Let's see. I do want to get... Yeah, I was thinking about fading in, fading out. 0.3, that's so little, though. We did a limited conscription, a constitution adopted, we have open schools... The general stock kind of hurts us. Winners of the Franco oppression. Oh. Increased research funding. I like this. The German Empire is investing massively into education or research spending due to a recent economic boom. Nice. Well oiled economy is very nice. I love it. We have reparations for France. Oh, okay. Germans are receiving reparations from France. I love reparations. Military organization troubles, which makes sense. Uh, Stadt Eisenbahnen. Cool. Machine tools. Nice. Let's go back over here, maybe. Yeah, there's nothing we can do over here, so... Um, aviation? I mean, technically we could keep pushing forward ahead with this aviation stuff. We still have military stuff to do, but... We'll get all this stuff done eventually. We will. Nice, keep building ourselves up. How's Königsberg looking down here? Okay, so Königsberg is done, so... Königsberg, you can go bye-bye for now. We gotta just keep building this stuff up. How's Ostberlin looking? Ostberlin is looking not good enough. We'll get there. So we three more, and then one more here, too. 
an era of our leadership. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. Cool. People stop being a general. People just have to retire, huh? They just can't work until they're dead, huh? Mr. Infantry, do you have anything good for us? And horsey dudes. Uh, what is this? Edward von Fransecki. Ah, yeah, that's good. Quick marcher makes sense for us. Um, you might be leading infantry eventually. Actually, no, I should have done ambusher. Because that's just infantry attack defense. But ambusher as max entrenchment for horses or any division, really, it looks like. So, that probably would have been better. Whatever. And so we have 27 air XP. I think we had 26 last time, but... Some of we have 27, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think we'll... Oh, we get more... So basically, you lose 20 political power for this. I would really like to do the first offer, or offer to the British. Yeah, uh, naval administration, we could probably, probably should keep that open. Hydroelectric plants, very good. So, this is all done as well from here, too. Yeah, so we got pretty much almost all these done. So I want to get all the stuff on the right side done first, and then we'll see what happens. I keep looking back here for more stuff I to do. Come on, I want more people. Well, we'll do probably early aileron control systems. Cool. <clears throat> Very nice. And we've literally got almost two weeks left for that. Not bad. Helio Goland. I kind of want to do that, but I want the cores as fast as possible. It takes, it's going to take so long, though. So long. Colonial Impact. Eh, I don't think so, man. What is this? Uh, overextension? Huh? Ah, winners of the Franco Prussian War. Oh, look, naval, air, and land doctrine research speed. Germany rejoices in its victories in the Franco-Prussian War, which has unfortunately made the military leaders lazy and averted to adopting new tactics. Well, I don't, uh, I don't know about that, that. Made the military leaders lazy and averted to adopting new tactics. So then why do we get a bonus to doctrine speed? That literally doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if anything, we should have, a, you know, we should have a penalty to our doctrine speed. And, you know, if we're being lazy about researching new things, so... Oh, cr oh, oh no, oh man, I think I just destroyed myself here. Uh, we still need to be the North German Confederation to do this. So basically, I gotta actually lock myself out of doing this then. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Uh, this is probably an oversight that maybe should get looked at. Requires the NGC to be formed. Well, technically, we're already past the NGC, so maybe if the devs are watching... Um, what we should do is you can have the NGC to be formed or the German Empire. And, and of course, obviously this would be changed, but the North German naval forces must continue to grow. If we want to keep our place among the great powers, the Navy of the Confederation remains under control of the Prussians. The other members of the states will have to contribute both financially and with their manpower to bolster our naval powers. A few administration or administrative tweaks could also help. We need 45 ships, which we're working on. Which we're working on. And we subordinate Marine Ministerium. Kriegshafen, with rapid technological development across all fields of naval warfare, it is of crucial importance to keep up with the times and improve our naval infrastructure accordingly. The establishment of proper war ports at our bordering seas will be an essential step in that direction. It's cool. And Kungusha Vefton, with the rapid technological development across all fields of naval warfare, it is of crucial importance to keep us with the times and improve our naval infra infrastructure accordingly. The expansion of our dockyards will facilitate growth and advancement in the world to come. So, I'm going to go ahead and maybe do this off screen, maybe a little bit more. Uh... Let's, uh, let's double check and see what happens with this stuff. So what exactly do we need for this? Okay, so it requires chief of Navy position within the Navy Military High Command to be filled by the Prince Adelbert and the Wall Minister position to be within the Army Military High Command to be filled by Albrecht von Roon. Establishing Marine Ministerium, which will, although self-administered, will be subordinated or subordinate under the War Ministry headed by von Roon for now. Office become the Secretary of the Navy, more Naval XP, the gain in National Spirit, subordinate Marine Ministerium, I'll give more legislative power, naval experience gained daily, or naval organization ship recovery rate, replace no naval infrastructure with basic infrastructure. Okay, cool. So, uh, we have 50 political power, or legislative power, so we need Prince Aldebert to be filled by, to be filled in the position of Naval High Command, Military High Command, Chief of Navy, Chief of Navy, Prince Aldebert. Chief of Navy. Chiefs, oh! Uh, wait, why can't I, um, well then, that is weird, oh boy, this is not good, it's, oh man, end of new beginning still has a lot of bugs and little things that I don't like, <laughs> oh goodness, 
Let's see. But let's can we at least get this guy? Oh, oh, okay. So we need to print him. Okay, okay. I should actually probably read. Okay, he becomes chief for the navy. That's good. Okay, so now this is better. Um, do we just have? Is that another decision then? We can do this one then. Von Rune, war minister, right? War minister, war minister, war minister. I just need to read apparently. Secretary of the Navy. Okay, he's still not here. Whatever. I just want to make a mistake. War minister within the military high command. War minister. We have no war minister. We have minister of war. Um, von Rune? We have... Oh, we don't have the PP for it, but even then, it's like... Not enabled. Uh, well, you know what? I think I'll probably just try to figure this out on off screen, maybe, to see what we can do. But I think in the meantime, maybe I'll go ahead and do French rivalry so we can hurt them some more. But we'll see what happens. All right, everyone. So here we are at June twenty seventh, eighteen seventy two. Just kind of hanging out. And actually, I've just done. I just did the French rivalry focus and just stopped doing it. I stopped doing my focuses because it doesn't really matter. So I basically for this one. Actually, let's talk about this once we do this coring thing, because I want to let time go on some more. Uh, I've, we can talk about that, but I want to do the German state administration. We get cores on southern Germany, basically. So that would be nice. Cool. Is this a core yet? Not yet. Uh, let time go on. Cool, look at that. Uh, better. Ah, no resistance. Would you look at that? No compliance, either. Increased research funding. Ah, oh, that sucks. It went away. Wow, look at that manpower. Wow. Not bad, not bad. 94 factories. As you can see from our industry, I'm really just hammering home right now a lot more industrial capacity. Uh, so let's talk about a couple things. As we're doing nothing for our national focus because we can't do anything because we need to do this. So to get this decision, uh, basically you have to take everything that we've seen before. Uh, Marine des Norddeutschen Bundes. Now the problem with this, it had to be before 1870 so you can take this focus. Um, so... I basically had to use constant commands to get this done, just auto-completed, just because we're running out of time, sort of, as well as there's not nothing we could do. I mean, I, I, there's no just nothing telling me the way to do this before 1870, so I decided, you know, just do this, and we'd take several decisions to get this done, so it is what it is, so I'm not going to go back in the game once again and uh, <laughs> try to get through all the other focuses. I will keep doing what we're doing now. Huge worker strikes in the German Empire. Unbeknownst to us, the workers in our country have managed to organize an enormous general strike. They're marching on the streets today, demanding better working conditions and shorter work hours, and threatening to cease working at all should these demands not be granted. Hold out, eventually they'll give up. Um, so should you get Italian support? Try to bribe the workers, we just give in to their demands. Uh, uh, actually, that's not too bad. Actually, yeah, let's get more po monthly population. Okay, I probably prefer to just like, work it out, but whatever. So I'm just going to continue not doing a focus because honestly, like, I want to do Kriegs, Kriegshafen or Hafen just because we need the, the national spirit to do this. I need Kunglische Weften to do that. So we can do Militar Vollmacht. And so then we can do Prussian Colonial Mission and do all this other stuff. Well, uh, we'll get Caraco maybe eventually. But I'd like to do a new Germany eventually. Like, this will probably happen in 1875 or something like that. So, unlock the German focus tree. So, it'll be what it'll be. We'll probably be running this a little bit late. But as long as we keep building ourselves up, I think we'll do okay. And I want to attempt to buy Heligoland. Heligoland. Cool. And we want to do this one. Sega Salula. Salula. So, it is what it is. We really don't have that much political power, which really, really sucks. 1.45, only because we're not doing a focus. And we still need some generals from the south, too. So, go figure. 1872 uh, uniforms, which, is, which are very, very nice. Uh, cavalry stuff, more reconnaissance. Uh, it's, eh, that's probably not really worth it, but whatever. That one is probably not worth it. But, good uniforms. We got more than enough horse and tack. Uh, I could probably use more of this, but we need more Gatling guns, which I want to throw in our infantry. And just need more regular howitzers, so that would be kind of nice. Let's go ahead and do attempt to buy. And we also need like 45 ships here, but whatever. Uh, well, what will we offer to the UK in exchange for a Heligoland? Favorable political treaties, industrial compensation. Um, hmm. how about favorable political treaties? Maybe that's the wrong one. I don't know. The, oh, never mind. The UK accepted a proposal and agreed to officially transfer the land or the island of Heligoland to us. It will surely become an important strategic base in the North Sea. Hurrah! Oh wow, we lost all, all, all so all so much political power. Holy crud! Where is? 
It's, oh, there it is. Wow, that's less than a thousand people. Is that worth it? Probably not. Oh my goodness. Wow, that really sucks. That really, really, really sucks. I need more infantry. But we're working on it. We're definitely working on it. Cool. Keep doing that for now. Um, other than that, we're just kind of hanging out. 15, 15, 15, 13. I mean, that's not really not too bad at all. Uh, other than that, yeah. Especially with how much we've been hit with our political power. But I'll see you in just a little bit. Well, welcome to February 1874, my friends. Right now, we got about 61 political power. We're currently establishing the Kriegshafen Kiel, which will help us out. Um, and we're, right now, we've just finished Militär Vormark, our military is truly the private nation, in which we can, if we want to, next do a new Germany. We might want to do that, but I do want to finish this up over here. We haven't even started, so Prussian colonial ambitions. We need a colonial empire, too. I'd like to purchase this. Um, I'd like to buy former Brandenburg colonies. This is taking a long, long time, but you know what? I, I have a feeling that the German focus here will change someday, probably long time from now, but we're going to go ahead and do this too, because I, I want to. And we will go ahead and inaugurate the Sig Saula, so, because we can, more legislative power, stability, you know, good stuff, and it feels very fitting that we should do so. Other than that, nothing really happened off screen, um, except for one thing that in which I advanced through policy, but this one has to be January 1st, 1885, more factories in 25, research petrol fuel, stainless steel, microbiology, all the following must be true. Mechanical production, hygiene, I mean, oh, all the following must be true after 1900. Your nation may not be any variation of an African tribe. That's kind of cool. Uh, anything over here? No, I've already just, I don't want to see all this stuff, so. Yeah, there's nothing really around here, about almost halfway through that already. Other than that, I've been just building up a lot, as many factories as possible off screen. I haven't purchased any more ships. we got an okay-ish sized navy, so 2,500 naval XP. Um, other than that, yeah, really not much has happened. I guess I could hire some of these generals, because we could use more generals, so... I don't really want to spend that much more PP, though. Um, we're looking pretty good here. It's pretty much stuck at 59.2, probably. 59.2... Yep, and we got some brigand balloons, too. And I'm waiting for just for 1875 for things to start really happening. For this one, we need to plan prototypes. So, I've just been, like, doing other research. Since all the... These six are done. Like, there's nothing else we can do. I've been doing some naval stuff. I've been doing a few army stuff here as well, but... Really, there's not much going on, so... Really, off screen, you didn't really mess much at all. I suppose we could get military police if we really wanted to. The supply use... I don't want to hurt supply use too much, maybe military police. Maybe telegraph signal companies, maybe? Maybe? Um, other than that, I mean, as you can see, we're trying to build up a big industry. Even more, as much industry as just possible right now. Uh, 45%, 45%. Anywhere else that we have really good infrastructure? 35 we have 40 here, which is pretty darn nice. So, 20% is not great. So, I guess we'll build in Saxon or Saxony. So, just nothing but civvies are just being built right now. Tons of civvies, 128 factories. Uh, off screen, I did just contemplate using 7 twos. This does take a, a ton of supply, though. Which I put, you know, Gatling guns. I put on engineers. That's a pretty good amount of defense. Breakthrough's not bad. Soft attack is pretty good. It's basically double these guys, which has less than that amount for soft attack, so... I would love to use these, but supply use is probably really, really not going to be... We're not really going to be able to use it. Um, that's roughly half. That's definitely less than half over here, which is not bad. So, oh, and actually over here is really, really good so far. So, we might be able to use it. Maybe, maybe not. So, oh, actually down here, we're looking already pretty bad, too. Look at that. Then again, if we get more infrastructure, that'll help us out. Actually, with our horses, uh, the supply was so bad at Alsace Terrain, I had actually had to pull them back. So, we might be able to use 7-2s. Just just because we can, so. Um, other than that, not really much has really happened. I don't want to hurt our ministers too much. Uh, I really, I would like to get rid of this guy, but he mm, does give us more daily centrism support, conservative support, consumer goods are so good. Like I said, I really want this guy, but I don't want more daily social egalitarian support. So we're kind of at an impasse, so. And I know I did say, oh, actually, let's grab one of these guys because we can. There you go. Okay. Okay. Um, I did say I want to make this video a little bit longer, but I've been playing this for like two hours now. So, yeah, I don't know if I can, I can really do this for any longer. Oh, that's nice. Uh, go ahead and do that one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. And there you go. Cool. So, really not much else is happening. Uh, yeah, I, I'd love to play it for a little longer, but like I said, I've been playing for this for two hours already, so... 
Yeah, I think we'll finish off maybe with a colonial navy, maybe? I'll keep playing this off screen to keep pushing us ahead of time, though. Our navy must be ready to fulfill the requirements of a colonial empire, in which we will get to these three, as well as this one, in the next episode. So, if you'd like to let me know about colonization in the comments below, and how I can potentially do that, please, I would... I would welcome it. But if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we might just end up in, later on in 1874 or even 1875. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.